I'm Dr. Michael Heffernan, and I'm the director of the Heart Function Clinic at the Oakville Trafalgar Memorial Hospital, located in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. And it's my pleasure to present this video abstract of my paper entitled Guideline Recommended Therapy, Including Beta Blocker Utilization in Patients with Chronic Heart Failure, Results from a Canadian Community Hospital Heart Function Clinic. An assessment of adherence to national heart failure guidelines has been undertaken in both Europe and the United States among community cardiologists and academic centers. Thus far, a comprehensive analysis in a Canadian community hospital-based heart function clinic has not been undertaken. The aim of this study was therefore to perform an extensive review of pharmacological therapy and device therapy in a community-based Canadian heart function clinic. In addition, the study also sought to identify the proportion of patients that would be eligible for the new therapies for the treatment of heart failure, namely Evabradine and Secubitril Valsartan. Overall, the patients in this clinic were elderly and male with symptomatic moderate left ventricular dysfunction. A substantial proportion of the patients also had a diagnosis of atrial fibrillation. A review of the pharmacotherapy provided to the patients in this clinic demonstrated that physician adherence to guidelines was high. Overall, patients received ACE inhibitors and ARBs, beta blockers, and MRAs at a rate of 80.3%, 87.3%, and 39.6% respectively. Adherence to guideline recommended pharmacotherapy specifically for patients with impaired left ventricular function was assessed and was high. In this subgroup of patients, 86.1% of eligible treatments were treated with an ACE inhibitor or ARB, 100% of patients received a beta blocker, and 61.9% of patients received an MRA. In conclusion, we have shown in this non-randomized cohort of Canadian patients that treated in a community-based heart function clinic that adherence to guideline-recommended pharmacotherapy was high. In particular, all patients eligible for treatment with a beta blocker received therapy. Unfortunately, many of those patients could not achieve the target dose. Since titration of beta blocker therapy to target doses recommended by landmark clinical studies and national guidelines is often not possible, medications like Evabradine may prove to be useful in patients with heart failure treated in a community setting. In addition, this analysis also identified a substantial proportion of patients who would be eligible for treatment with one of the new therapies for heart failure, namely Secubitril Valsartan. 